Have you ever noticed that the temperature near downtown Cincinnati is often very different than away from the city center? University of Cincinnati's Dr. Pravin Bawapaker is actively studying that theory by collecting weather data from South Cumminsville and here in Avondale. I'm interested in knowing what is the role of urban development and urban areas play in creating its own microclimatic conditions. Higher amounts of concrete, dark materials, and other materials with high heat capacity in urban areas tend to keep them relatively warm. This research aims to understand how that heat can affect architecture. Knowing what exactly where the conditions are, or if it is measured for the longer time, what would be the climatic conditions within the city, knowing that is very important in order to inform our building designs in future. It is also important to know how to maintain existing buildings. While the study is in its early stages, data so far this year suggests urban areas are much warmer than rural areas during heat waves. Our very uh, preliminary look at those data shows that there is a difference and difference could be up to 8 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit compared to the airport data. What we found is definitely uh, urban areas are definitely warmer, but how much warmer is a function of where it is then located. While temperature differences may be large, the response to the results may need to be larger. What I wish to get out of that is to see what are the uh, summer extremes, what are the winter extremes uh, that uh, urban dwellers are or the communities are experiencing. It is also important to know in view of climate change is spring or the fall going to be warmer and if we're going to design buildings then those kind of uh, future climatic uh, scenarios are very important to know how our buildings are going to behave or uh, function in future. Data from a weather station like this is not only helpful for determining how heat affects architecture, it can also give us insight on how heat affects members of the community. Community people can be informed or at least they will know and they will be much more aware of the conditions so they will know uh, I need not to be closer to the larger parking lots where it can get very hot or I should carry more water bottles. Are there any other ways to uh, remove that extra heat from, in, from the building so that it could be relatively comfortable inside? I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.